Hello everyone, welcome back. So you can see I have Pokemon Go up on the screen here. And I'm going to be talking about how I got Celebi and all that. Yeah, this video is a little bit old here. Don't know when this was recorded, but it was definitely recorded a while ago. Months even. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting around to it now. To put it into perspective, as you can see in the background there, I'm recording Red Dead Redemption 2. So <laughs> around the time that video came out is when I caught Celebi. But yeah, there's one even older than this. Uh, I have a Fortnite video from when I was playing as Thanos. So that is also putting into perspective how old some of these are. But yeah, I have a bit of a back catalog, so I'm going through now and trying to finish all the ones that I had pre-recorded already, so that way I don't have anything late. Yeah, I don't know why on this one, when I was trying to catch Celebi, I was missing terribly. <laughs> and yeah, I went through in the Mew one all the steps to get it, but Celebi is a little more annoying, a couple more time-consuming things, so maybe I'll put in the description how to get it, but to list them in the video would be almost as time-consuming as doing them. <laughs> It was a little more annoying than the Mew Quest, to be honest. Like, especially one of them was, uh, you pretty much, to a certain point, you had to do seven days added on to however many days you've already spent doing the quest, because it's like, spin a Pokestop seven days in a row. So if you had already been doing this for like a week, trying to get all the quests, it's like, oh, here's one where you have to do it for another week. <laughs> so it just seemed, because Mew I got in like six days, but it's physically impossible to do it that quickly, because even if you got all the way to the end in one day, you still have to do seven days in a row. So it's a little it's a little annoying there. I guess because it's a time related Pokemon, they're like, how do, how can we stretch this out as far as possible? <laughs> That's part of why the video came out later than typical, because I was actually making pretty good progress all the way through, but then towards the end I was like, oh boy, these are <laughs> these are really starting to get annoying, aren't they? But yeah, as you can see I have Sibel <laughs> Sibility. I have Celebi here. And uh the stats are not crazy, pretty much like Mew, it's not the not the best Pokemon, but it is a Mythic, so it's always good to have that. And the same thing as Mew. See, I gave you confusion there. I'm pretty sure I got it Psychic and Grass, or a Double Psychic, I can't remember. Maybe it was like Solar Beam or Leaf Storm or something. But yeah, much like Mew, it has a... Oh, Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I stuck with that one, because that's actually a pretty good one to have. Fairy moves are always nice. But yeah, much like Mew... She definitely still serves a purpose in the raids and stuff like that, so I wouldn't just dismiss it. Because Mew, what I did, it was actually kind of hard to do this, but I got pretty lucky. I only used about 5 or 6 TMs, but I was able to get double dark on there. So now my Mew is a pretty good Mewtwo killer and pretty much any psychic type. So yeah, that I was actually happy about. So you get a super incubator here, you get 20 Celebi candies as normal. Yeah, as you can see there, I've completed all three of the research development so far or special research quest request one of those two it was just on screen you'll you'll know but yeah the game's pretty good right now as you can see they've already done celebi so the natural conclusion is the next one up will be jirachi because they already released uh deoxys in the ex raids which unfortunately i missed the first wave and now he's in attack form so i would definitely like to get that one the only problem is I haven't been going out and raiding that much lately. And they still have that annoying setup where you have to go to sponsored locations. So it's one of those things like, there's a Starbucks nearby, which is where I got Mewtwo when that was going on. So I just basically went there and I farmed up the, the gold gym badge. Just by basically like putting a Pokemon in, having it knocked out, putting a Pokemon in, having it knocked out. Which you have to do a lot of times and it's very time consuming. So that's pretty much the only Starbucks that I like to go to to do that. But yeah, I pretty much have to do that all over again for Deoxys, which I'm not looking forward to, honestly, because that is a very time-consuming process. But yeah, I definitely want Deoxys, and I would like to have the different forms, too, so hopefully I can get the attack form, because that's the one I like the most, with defense coming second. But yeah, I'm just kind of showing here how the leveling process works. It's not super hard to level up Celebi. Uh, I think I have my Mew. My Mew's somewhere around 2600 or 2800, which on the grand scheme of things is not like a super powerful Pokemon, but at the same time it's still pretty good for raids. So I wouldn't just dismiss it right away. And yeah, Celebi's one of my favorite mythics in the game, so it's definitely nice to have it now. Jeez, I have a lot of rare candies. <laughs> I wonder how many rare candies I used on this, actually. Maybe I got... Maybe I used all of them, because I don't really have that many rare candies in my account right now. 
So yeah, I probably just blew right through. Yeah, I think the last uh, the last raid that I did was Garantina. So that was that was when I went to Ohio, which was in November, I think, because they had the the Dragon Ball Super Card Game tournament, which I competed in the national level on that. So that was pretty good. Did not do very well. <laughs> Got a little less than half. But on the next day, they had the Gunslinger event, and I actually did pretty well in that one, so kind of made it up for it there. But yeah, I pretty much haven't been doing that many raids since then, and that was two months now, so... <laughs> actually, I can't even think of the last raid that I did. Oh yeah, here he is, Mew. Yeah, 2600. As you can see, he's almost maxed out. I'm assuming he would max out somewhere around 2800 then. So, again, not a crazy high CP value. As you can see, I've got quite a few legendaries in there. I guess I'm just going to throw all my rare candies at this guy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it lands at 2200, somewhere around there. 22 or 23. I'm going to assume 22, because that looks like it's where... Yeah, I think so. Wait for it. Is there one more level up? Oh, there is. Okay, so 2200. Yeah, so it's not like a really bad Pokemon to have. And the typing is pretty good, so it's like uh, pretty much anything Executor is good against, so is Celebi. I also take, uh, finally I got Ninjask, so I don't have to have Ninkata as my follow Pokemon. Although, speaking of annoying quests, I'm <laughs> trying to do the one right now for Meltan, which is funny because I already have Melmetal, so there's really no reason to do it, but I just want to do it to complete it. But one of them is Evolve a Grimer, and there are no Grimer in my area. <laughs> Every once in a while I'll get lucky and one will spawn, but for the most part I don't have any. I just have to get lucky to hatch it from an egg or hatch an Alolan uh, Grimer out of an egg. Something like that. But unfortunately, I had already evolved my Alolan Grimer, so now I have to evolve another one, <laughs> which I only had like 30 Grimer candies. So I've had my Grimer as my buddy Pokemon for weeks now. <laughs> I still haven't gotten to the 50 candy mark. But then once I get past that, it gets annoying again, and there's one quest that's for like catching an Aerodactyl, which, again, in my area, <laughs> Aerodactyl is one of the rare Pokemon which actually kind of sucks, because during the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee event, they actually had uh, Aerodactyl as one of the, uh, what is it, the research... It wasn't even a research breakthrough, it was just a regular um, regular mission. Like, when you spend a Pokestop and you get a little quest, it was just one of those. It just gives you an Aerodactyl. So, unfortunately, that has ended. So now I don't, won't be able to do that, which is very annoying. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'll just have to find an Aerodactyl in the wild, which was near impossible to do... <laughs> So yeah, hopefully I can actually... I don't know what's going on there. In my, uh, I was just looking at my file there. There's Richter saved over one of these images. Very confusing. But anyway, uh, that was the video there. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with probably the Thanos video or other Smash videos just to kind of catch those up. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you then.